who is the biggest artist of today? It would be more people that support Drake than supporting Tupac in today's era if Tupac was still alive. Pac was emotional as well. Like people always don't don't bring that up, but Pac was very emotional. Tupac, the product of Tupac is J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, D. Allen Ricks, and somewhat Kanye West. And life, you have to grow mentally. You know, a lot of people are stuck doing the same things that they were doing about 20 years ago. 15, you know, they're doing the same thing they was on five years ago. 10 years ago, 15 years ago. They still had the same mindset. They don't want nothing, they don't want to strive for nothing else in life. They're content with where they are. And they're good where they are. So Tupac represented that struggle. All the life issues, all the social issues, all of the negative things, everything that we had to deal with. Tupac exposed that of what was going on in the world. He exposed that. A lot of the things that Tupac was talking about is going on now. And some things got worse. Some things got better. That's just like back in Dr. King days or back in Malcolm X days or even before that. It was, th it was things that was going on then. We just didn't really see it all around the world because now social media, you can see it now. Very extremely, you know, heavy. You can really see it now. If he would have grown, then people would have said, oh, I like Pac back when he did Brenda's Got a Baby. I would have loved Pac when he did Keep Your Head Up. I would have liked Pac when he did uh, songs like Smile, Good Die Young. I like that Pac. I don't like the Pac that's talking about other stuff now. He, You know, that Pac, I don't like that Pac no more. Because as you see, when Kanye West came in with songs like Jesus Walks, and he came in with songs like uh, All Falls Down, songs like that, as he started to grow as a musician, as a person, you see in his growth, he became a different person. He's become, he's going through different levels in life. You're going through different levels. So if you keep continuing to grow and, and go through different levels, the people are going to, that's stuck where they are, they're still stuck in one, in one spot. Mentally, they're going to look at you and say, oh, I like what he did a long time ago. I don't care what he's doing now. I like what he did a long time ago. Because they resonated with where you were mentally at that time. My music now. If I give you the new music now that is going on where I live at in the neighborhood, in my circumstances, a person who comes from where I come from going to relate to that. Or somebody that just loves music, period. They're probably going, they're going to love it. They're going to love it. They're going to support you. And, and the people who love you are going to support you regardless. But the thing is, once you start to grow, only the ones who love you regardless are going to be the ones who still support you. The ones who are stuck mentally, it's just like somebody who, who does drugs and you're around people who do drugs. Once you no longer do those drugs anymore and you're sober, you're on a different path in life, then what people say, oh, you know, they act like they don't even want to deal with you no more. Cause they can't relate to you. You're not talking about what you're talking about. And I deal with that every day. I deal with it every day. So like I said, I believe Tupac would have grown mentally. And, you know, I don't want to get into the whole thing, whether he's alive or not, but, you know, cause I don't, I really, it really doesn't matter, but it would be smarter to not be here. I feel like, you know, people always say, well, is Pac still alive? Is Pac dead? Or is Pac still alive? Don't nobody know and nobody never will. And if I'm Tupac, I would never want to come back. I never want to come back. Because they love me more when I'm dead than while I'm here. You know, if Tupac was alive and got the love that he get while he's deceased, it wouldn't be the love because of who he is. Because the people who are themselves outspoken, don't act like a puppet. Just notice nowadays they get hated. He will have to get love for being someone he's not. Politically correct. Have to, you know, talk about the things that, you know, have to be on Ellen, smiling. You know, he have to be somebody he's not. He's have to be a, a businessman. 
Just look at all the outspoken people. Dame Dash speaks his mind and get criticized. He wouldn't be loved for who he is. He have to be somebody he's not in order to get that love. He would have to be politically correct all the time. Act like he's he have to Tupac will have to fit in. The people who don't fit in are the ones who get criticized. The ones you don't want sitting at the table with you. He would have to be uh he had to agree with everything. He had to say no comment to a lot of things. In order for him to be liked, the Colin Kaepernick situation, he had to disagree with the Colin Kaepernick situation. The police brutality, he wouldn't have to have a comment on it. He would have to agree with the music. If he don't agree with the music that's going on now, they would say Tupac's a hater. They say Pac a hater. Oh, he he's stuck in the 90s. That's what they say. Oh, he's a hater. He don't know what he's talking about. Because this artist that came out back then who voiced their opinion about it. Oh, he just hating on this new artist. He just hating. Like I said, it's artists now that represent what he represented, but they don't get the credit and they get overshined. Chris Brown speak his mind all the time. Chris Brown is free. He make mistakes just like everybody else. And look what they say about Chris Brown.